Elvis Presley and His Vehicles Part 14 The 1957 Harley-Davidson FLH Elvis absolutely loved motorcycles and owned many over the years. In August 1955 he bought his first bike, an entry-level Harley-Davidson and after a couple of months he traded it in for AKH. By late 1956, Elvis was riding high and had outgrown his sporty little Harley KH. So, in search of something bigger and heavier, he went down to the Memphis Harley-Davidson Company on November 1st to check out the new bikes. Elvis rode out of the store on a brand new 1957 Harley-Davidson FLH Hydroglide. He kept his old 1956 KH though for a while and eventually gave it to his cousin Gene Smith. The FLH was the top-of-the-line motorcycle at Harley-Davidson. In 1949, the Hydroglide was introduced which by definition, was the first hydraulic suspension bike produced by Harley-Davidson. Powering the Hydroglide was a 74 cubic inch, 55 horsepower, OHVV twin engine fed by a Skeebler carburetor, a 4-speed gearbox, a bucket saddle, telescopic Hydroglide front forks, a hardtail rear end, a hand-operated front drum brake, and a foot-operated rear brake. List price for 1957 was $1,103. Elvis' new Panhead FLH was solid black and cost $1,243. It had the king of the highway option package which included a set of Harley's famous bubble bag panniers, windshield, crash bar, luggage rack and chrome cheese grater bumpers fore and aft. It even had the optional, foot-shifted transmission instead of the old, hand-shifted gearbox. This was the first in a long line of Elvis-owned FLH bikes. The King preferred the big FLH over the smaller Sportster. Natalie Wood arrived in Memphis on November 1, 1956 to visit Elvis. This was the same day Elvis bought the new Harley-Davidson FLH and he wanted to show it to her, so he took Natalie on a three-hour trip around Memphis. Elvis' Hollywood friend, Nick Adams who visited Elvis in the fall of 1956 came back to Memphis for another visit in mid-November. In this photo, Elvis is sitting on his FLH while Nick is on a borrowed bike. Between them is Dewey Phillips, who was the first DJ to broadcast Elvis. Both Elvis and Nick are wearing Harley-Davidson caps, which was popular at that time, before Helmut Laws arrived. November 19, 1956, Elvis and his friend George Klein on Elvis' new Harley. To the right, Kay Wheeler president of the first Elvis fan club and the bike. Both photos are shot under the carport at Audubon Drive. April 19, 1957, Yvonne Lyme and Elvis stated while they were filming Loving You in early 1957. On Easter weekend she visited Elvis in Memphis. These pictures at Graceland were taken by Paramount to promote the movie which would be released that summer. In the summer of 1957 Elvis bought a used Harley-Davidson KH for his friend Lamar Fike. Elvis and Lamar used to go drag racing with the bikes down Highway 51 to see who was fastest. One time while racing, a city bus was about to stop in front of them. Elvis turned left, and when Lamar tried to do the same, he went down and slid sideways up onto the bus. He got hung up, and couldn't get out. Elvis asked if he was okay. Lamar said, Jesus, what do you mean am I okay? I'm pinned under a city bus. Sure I'm alright. Can you get me out of here? Then Elvis started to laugh and couldn't quit. They ended up having to call a wrecker to lift the end of the bus up to be able to get Lamar out of there. Elvis with fans on his 1957 Harley-Davidson FLH Hydroglide in the summer of 1957. In the summer of 1957 Elvis started dating Anita Wood. They were together until the early 1960s. This photo was shot in Memphis 1957. March 1958, Elvis is out riding the 1957 Harley for the last time. A couple of days later he bought a brand new 1958 Harley-Davidson FLH Duo Glide. This was just a week prior to his army induction on March 24. Whatever happened to the 1957 Hydroglide is a bit uncertain? Some sources say that he gave the 1957 Harley to his friend George Klein and that he wrecked it in 1962. In 1983, Ron and Lou Elliott, at Supercycle in Memphis assembled a bike to replicate Elvis' 1957 FLH Hydroglide for a client who wanted one just like Elvis. They assembled one using a 1957 panhead, somewhat earlier frame and various error-correct components they had. Ron had to replicate the cheese grater bumper in the front from copper since new ones weren't available. The bike is almost exactly like Elvis except for the shape of the cheese grater bumper on the front and the Hydroglide script on the front fender, which Elvis didn't have. 
Supercycle sold the bike for $7,500 to the client who years later sold it to Graceland. After Elvis Presley Enterprises purchased the 1957 Harley-Davidson it was displayed at Graceland for many years. In the late 90s they built a setup at the Heartbreak Hotel in Memphis and the bike sat there up until 2015. On April 23, 2015 the Harley-Davidson was featuring a display at the new Elvis exhibit at the Westgate Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was displayed there for about 10 months together with Elvis 1971 Stutz Blackhawk. 1962 Lincoln Continental and other Elvis-related items. A year later, Elvis Presley Enterprises sued the Westgate for illegally seizing property that was originally loaned to the Westgate for an exhibition. As of now, there are no information on what happened to the 350 artifacts in the display. They may still be locked up in a storage unit in Las Vegas waiting for this legal battle to be solved. In 2007, to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Elvis Presley's passing, Bruce Ross Mayer, CEO of 12 Harley-Davidson locations including the new Graceland Harley-Davidson shop located in Memphis, created the unique Elvis Presley 30th Anniversary Signature Collection bike. A series of 30 motorcycles were built that replicated the 1957 black Harley-Davidson FLH that Elvis once owned. Although appearing as a classic custom vintage bike, the motorcycles featured a 2007 soft-tail chassis and drivetrain maintaining all of the modern engineering and safety features. On August 15, 2007, at an invitation-only presentation at Graceland the first 29 bikes were delivered. Bike number 30 was auctioned on January 8, 2008, Elvis' birthday. Just recently another recreation of Elvis' 1957 Harley-Davidson FLH has surfaced. This restored bike is three numbers away from the VIN on Elvis' bike. It looks exactly like the one Elvis owned except for the added Hydroglide front fender emblem. Hopefully the 1957 Harley-Davidson will return to Graceland soon. At that time we can determine if it is the original Elvis 1957 Harley-Davidson or not. And that is it, on this subject. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe for more episodes about Elvis cars.